ukitaka kupokea katika imani ukitaka kumfurahisha bwana kwa ajili ya imani yako kuna hatua tano ambazo huna budi kusipitia ama kusiteda nitumie hilo neno huna budi kuweza kusiteda so stages stages means a point a point so there are five points na point sio sa kuadika a point is a place where you can stop is a point one point second point three third one fourth one to the fifth one so it is a point it means a point a period or a step or a step in the process of our maturing in faith nitarudia stages means a point you are at point a you want to go to point b you want to go to point c uh, a stage means a point period or a step in the process of our maturing in faith of our maturing in faith so nimesema stages means a point or a period or a step in your process of maturing in your faith hiyo ina, inaitwa a stage so niseme kwamba kabla hatuajiriwe tulikuwa na stages fulani za kimaisha na za kimasomo tulikuwa na ile inaitwa nursery school tulienda nursery school hatukutumia vitabu nyakati setu tulikuwa na choda chini tunachora watu tunafanya hesabu chini sisi wakati wetu hiyo 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 period inaisha badala ya mwalimu afute blackboard tunafuta chini tunaingia ingine ya lugha mwalimu anaandika ubao na we unaandika kwa, kwa mchaga hapo ndio ilikuwa blackboard yetu so tulitoka kwa hiyo stage na kwa hiyo stage pia tulikuwa nafanya kasi ingine tukienda nyumbani tunachukua magurudumu tunaendesha Tunaenda ingine ilikuwa naitwa nyororoka, tunanyororoka, tunaweka maji. Usijui ilikuwa napigwa nini, unateremka. Bwana asifiwe. It was a stage. A stage to the the stage that I am in life. Nikatoka kwa hiyo stage nikaenda sasa ya primary. Nikaanza kufundishwa kuandika kwa kitabu na nikajua, nikajua kuongea kwa lugha na nikajua kuandika nikatoka kwa stage hiyo nikaenda high school this are still a stage before i was employed na ninakuwa hata wewe uliipitia ninaitumia ili at least niweke msingi wa kile ninafundisha that these stages are the steps that you go through in maturing your faith ili uweze kuwa na imani timilifu biblia inasema without faith we cannot please god Hatuwezi kumfurahisha Bwana pasipo na imani. Na stage sisi ambazo nataka tuweze kusiagalia kitabu cha kumi, mstari wa kumi na saba. Biblia inasema kwamba faith comes by hearing and by the hearing of the word of God. Imani huja kwa kusikia na kulisikia neno. Kwa hivyo kuna ujumbe tunausikia, diposa tunaandalika na tunajengeka katika imani tunajua kwamba inawezekana kabla ya kuokoka kuna mambo hatukuamini yanawezekana baada ya kuokoka baada ya kuhubiriwa baada ya kujionea na macho tukaweza kuamini ya kwamba inaweza kututendekea pia wanasifiwe so faith comes by hearing and by the hearing of the word of god So healing has its stages. Bwana asifiwe. Isaia 53 na 3 Isaia 53 na 3 ukisoma kuanzia mstari wa kwanza, maandiko yanasema inauliza swali, who has believed our report? Ni nani aliyeamini report yetu? Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Ni nani aliyefunuliwa mkono wa Bwana? Haya ni baadhi ya mambo yanayojenga imani. Ya kwamba kwanza tusikie 
na kisha tuone Mungu akitenda ili tuweze kuwa na imani. So maandiko yanauliza swali who has believed our report. Baada ya kusikia kile ambacho kinahubiriwa. Baada ya kusoma neno, baada ya kufundishwa neno. Ni nani yanayoamini report yanayohubiriwa? Huyo die atakaye kuwa na imani. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo kuna watu hata baada ya kuwahubiria hawaamini. Hawaamini report wanayopewa. Na diposa Isaia nabii akaulisa ni nani anayeamini ama aliyeamini report iliyowapa? Ni nani aliamini? Ni nani huyo ambaye amefunuliwa mkono wa Bwana? Ni nani huyo anajua ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kutenda? So ni sema ya kwamba for us to be healed ili tuweze kupokea uponyaji it depends on your faith Bwana asifiwe For you to pray it depends on do you have faith in who you, you are praying So watu wengi hawaombi kwa maana hawana imani ya kwamba yuda wanamuomba atawatendea wale wanaoomba wanaomba kwa maana wana imani they have faith that he who they are praying will answer their prayers kwa hivyo kuna sababu nyingi sana kwa nini watu hawaombi wengine hawaamini ya kwamba tukiomba tutatendewa hawaamini yuda wanaye muomba ya kwamba ana uwezo wa kuwatendea so this is the reason why many people don't pray So those people who pray they pray because they have faith in who they are praying. The way we give, the way we give is according to our faith. Kuna mtu haamini ya kwamba nikitoa nitabarikiwa. Kwa hivyo kuna mtu anatoa kwa maana kuna tolewa. Lakini kuna mtu anatoa sababu ako na revelation knowledge. Ni kwa nini ninatoa? Kwa hivyo ninapaswa kutoa kwa jia gani? Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo kuna mtu anatoa diposa atoe, lakini kuna mwingine anatoa akiwa na revelation knowledge. Anaufunua ni kwa nini ninatoa? Anaufunua ni nini napaswa nikatoe? Bwana asifiwe. Tutasoma ama msingi wa neno ambalo nataka nitumie it is Genesis 22. 22. Na kabla tuingie pale nilikuwa nataka kusema kitu tutasoma in Genesis 22 mstari wa 3 God was specific he was specific to Abraham hakumwambia toa mtu yeyote ama toa mtu wa familia yenu yeyote God was very specific so for faith to be applicable to your life you have to be specific because God is specific bwana sifiwe hii inamaanisha nini hata kutoa kwetu God is specific ni nini anataka utoe He is specific anataka utoe nini So without a revelation or knowledge tutatoa tutoe lakini hatutoi tubarikiwe Bwana sifiwe Lakini wale ambao wanatoa with a revelation or knowledge ndio wanaobarikiwa katikati ya wengine ndio wanaotoa katika imani Bwana sifiwe Abraham akaambiwa specifically give your only son Isaac you are only son agatoa rutu sababu rutu alikuwa mwana wa dugu yake Mungu akamwambia toa yeyote lakini God was specific Ulisa jirani did you give specifically what God wanted you to give leo amekwambiaje hajui Mwambie atajulia bele. <laughs> bwana sifiwe. Ni lazima tuulize bwana hata kabla ya kuja kanisani. What do you want me to give? Wakati mwingine tunaingia tunakumbuka ah ni wakati wa sadaka inapotangazwa. Sababu we are not serious on it. So we give not in faith, we give because it is giving time. Na niombi lagu ya kwamba hatutatoa because it is giving time. We shall give because we have faith in he who has demanded that we give. Bwana sifiwe. 
So number one, to some Genesis 22, to pray Genesis 22. Now, it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham. God tested Abraham. Watch and say, Mayakomba, faith tests what you possess. Faith does not test what will come. Faith is a test what you have. Abraham was not tested with what he did not have. He was tested with what he had. Baada ya kugoja meka ishirina mitano ya hadi, dipo mungu anapo jitokesa sasa mara nyigine. Now, it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham. The, which things after he was blessed with the son. Katoto kame nyonya, kame malisa kunyonya. Amekua, okay, nilikuwa na, na jaribu kustade. When was, how old was, was this, was, was Isaac? It is not stated in the Bible. Lakini nilipo kuwa ninikisoma historia sa bibiria na nini. Nikaona alikuwa around 20 years. Alikuwa around 20 years. Wakati babaki aliada kumtua kama thabihu. Around 20 years. So alikuwa amefanya kasi. Na diposa wanapo enda anamulisa babake. Ninaona tumebeba kuni. Tumebeba fio vyote finavyo hitajika. Thabihu hiko wapi? Chakutua thabihu kiko wapi? So already ni mtu ambaye alikuwa amekoma na anajua dhabihu ni nini. Bwana asifiwe. Alijua tuahitaji kuwa na dhabihu ya kumtolea Mungu iko wapi? Na babake alipomwambia Mungu atajitwalia akaamini. Na walipoambia wale wafanyikazi waweze kubaki alibebeshwa kuni. So he was a big man. Alikuwa kijana mkubwa. So Biblia imesema kwamba hapa it came to pass that after these things that God tested Abraham. Bona sifiwe. Nigependa ujiambie probably, sema hiyo probably, today God is testing me. Bona sifiwe. Na wacha nisema ya kwamba wakati mwingine watu hujua baada ya kuwaguka mitihani walikuwa kwa mtihani. It is after they fail that they understood that they failed a certain test. So Bibini Nasema and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. Then he said, Take your son, your only son, Isaac, specific. Your only, only son, Isaac. Probably your Isaac today was not what you gave. Probably your Isaac this year. Is probably your time, and you are not giving God the time specific. And I say, my one hour per day, one hour per day, I want to meet with you. One hour per day, God is specific. Nanirazma utafute kujua the specific time ambao mugu na itaji mwese kukuta nae. Agali wakati wa Abraham, wakati wa Adamu, God was specific. He used to face it them. Kida siku. Wakati frani. Na diposa hata adamu baada ya kufanya dhabi na makosa waliyo ya fanya. Alijua the time. Alijua time ya mugu kuja. Diposa akajificha. Sababu alijua the specific time that God used to face it them. So to walk in faith, you have to walk in specifications. Nilazma uwese kuelewa na kutabua. Ni nini hasua mungu anahitaji kwago? Bwana sifiwe. Ni rasma ujue ni nini halisi mungu anahitaji kwago? Ni idadi gani? Kama ni muda, ni idadi gani ya muda anahitaji kwago? Bwana sifiwe. So right number one, faith. Step number one, faith is specific. Sio kubahatisha, sio kubahatisha. Kutembea katika imani, ili upokea katika imani, you have to be specific, ni nazima ujue specifications pia. Mungu amesema nini, anadai nini, anataka nini. Na nirini, when is it? So that I, I can walk in faith. 
What is it that God wants from me? Abraham alijua ni nini Mungu anataka kwake na kulikuwa na stages katika maisha ya Abrahamu. Hatua ya kwanza Mungu anamuita deposit aweze kuona kana kwamba this man will trust me. Anamuita kutoka katika taifa lao na anamwambia aweze kuhama that is Genesis 12. Genesis 12 mstari wa kwanza hadi mstari wa 4. Maandiko yanasema alipokuwa kwao katika taifa lao kwa baba yao Mungu akamuita Abrahamu na akamwambia toka katika taifa renu ni kupeleka katika nchi Bwana asifiwe mahala ambapo nitakubariki nitakupatia usao na usao wako utaweza kumiliki marango ya maadui zao That was the first step of faith It was the first stage in faith It was the first step of his work with God ilikuwa dio hatua yake ya kwanza ya kuanza kutebea na boa na mwito ameitwa get out of your country god was very specific get out of your country from your father's household utoke katika nyumba ya baba yako utoke katika taifa lenu god is specific na diposa we are, we ought not to do like other people we ought not to copy other people because what god demands of you is not what he is demanding of me kile ambacho mungu anakidai kwako sicho hicho anacho kidai kwangu masaa ambayo mungu anadai kwangu sio masaa mungu anayoyadai kwako bwana sifiwe idadi ya fedha ambazo mungu anasidai kwako sio hizo anasosidai kwangu Imani ambayo Mungu anaidai kwako sio imani ambayo anahitaji kwa mwingine. So we all have your own specification. Hata mtu akiwa mgonjwa aende kwa daktari anapewa specification ya kutumia dawa. Huwezi ukapewa dawa na mtoto na muambiwe mkunywe idadi sawa. At mesa bili. Naona kazi hii inafanya hivi sababu anajua anadiru na hiyo line specification anakuandikia vizuri one times Huwezi ukasema nitamesa sote ikafanya kazi kwa tubo utaenda. Bwana asifiwe nilisikia mtu akisema si ni hali mtu amese sote utaenda. You must follow the instructions. Specifications iko pale. Ili uweze kusifuata. Baada ya kusifuata basi daktari anaamini ya kwamba utapona. Many people fail to follow the specifications. Kuna mtu nilisikia na alikufa. Okay. Haku amefukufa wakati yule alisema. Kwamba alipewa dawa akaandikwa specifications hakusifuata. Hakupata kile ambacho kilikuwa akipata kupitia sile dawa. Hakupata, hakupona. Alikuwa apone lakini akafeli in specifications. So faith may not work if you don't know what God specifically requires of you. Kuna mtu Mungu anataka uamke saa 8 usiku. Saa 8 usiku na usiseme sisi tumelala ni wewe hiyo ndio dawa yako. Bwana sifiwe, mwingine dawa yake ni kuja ulale hapa kanisani. Usituambie hautuonagi, lala hapa. Hiyo ndio specific hiyo ndio dawa yako. Bwana sifiwe, mwingine ni mchana aweke kuweka nini samu yake Ningependa ulise jirani yako samu yako ni gani ya maombi Hapa kanisani muulize ni gani Usituambie sade Sade ni kuteremka tunateremka sote Samu ni Monday to Saturday Samu yako iko wapi Ninataka tuangalie na tujue why our faith fails ni kwa nini hata tukijaribu kuamini hatupokei? God is specific. Number two. We must believe. Madhayo tisa mstari wa 28 hadi mstari wa 31. moja. Maniko inasema Yesu wakati mmoja alienda katika nyumba ambapo kulikuwa na watu wawili walikuwa vipofu. Walikuwa vipofu. They could not see the were bright. Na alipoingia pale hanga waponya until they believed hanga waponya hanga waombea 
until they believed na shida kubwa hapa makanisani ni ya kwamba tunatokea tuombewe na hata hatuna imani we are not believing let me go and try hiyo ku try haitakusaidia heri uketi mpaka ugoje uwe na you believe maandiko yanasema in the book of john tuliweza kuita uh, kuiangalia subi john okay tupatie madhara hapa ndio nataka lakini hiyo nitahitaja tu john 8 that that one to that two jesus talked or he spoke to the Jews who believed the Jews who believed in him akawaambia nini if you dwell in my word you shall be my disciples and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so you will not be set free until number 1 you are a believer you believe Monasifiwe. until you believe so many people have not been set free watu wengi hawajawekwa huru kutokana na mambo yanayowasonga kutokana na mambo yanayowasukuma because they do not believe sasa tuzome hapa and when he had come into the house the bride men these were two bride men came to him and jesus said to them do you believe do you believe kitu cha kwanza do you believe? Hakuwa ulisa shida yao. Ilikuwa naonekana wasi. Lakini ili shida yao yuwese kuisha. Sio kuombewa. It is number one. You believe that I will heal you. So when they came, the bride man came to him and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Muna amini ya kuamba naweza ni kawaponya. Muna amini ya kuamba munaweza kuona tena. Ama kuona. Munaamini ya kwamba macho yani yanaweza kufuguka so it was about them not about Jesus Bwana sifiwe it was about them so it is about us not about Jesus Jesus is ready to do everything that we do we, we need he is ready to give us anything that we we pray for anything that we are short of chochote kile ambacho tumepungukiwa Mungu ana uwezo wa kututendea. Hakuna jambo unaro mtarajia Bwana akutendee ya kwamba hana uwezo wa kukutendea. Hakuna hata moja. Hakuna jambo lolote linalo tusonga. Mahara tumepungukiwa, mahara tunalia na tunaumwa. Chochote kile ambacho kimetuletea kilio, hakuna jambo asilo liweza. Lakini swali ni, do you believe? He is asking us, do you believe that I am able to do this? Do you believe that your pain can come to an end today? Do you believe that today you can receive your miracle? Do you believe? Isaiah Kaudisa, who has believed our report? So, I did kusema. Akawaudisa swali and when okay do you do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Agaria Mustari wa Shina Tisa Ninini Tafanyika. Then he touched their eyes. He did not touch their eyes before they confessed that they believe. Kuna mambo hayata dedeka katika maisha yetu. Kuna miujisa haita tendeka. Kuna mirango haita funguka mpaka tumwambie we believe. We believe it is possible. Kwa hivyo mirango mingi imefungika ni kwa maana many people have failed in this stage. They don't believe but they want. Tunataka lakini hatuamini. Biblia nasema in the book of John 16:29 to 31. How are the disciples? Jesus used to speak in so many parables. Alikuwa akiongea kwa midhali sana. Mpaka wakachaganyikiwa. Wakamuambia si uoge kwa ruga tunaelewa. Kwa ruga tunaelewa. Hatimai walimuambia nini? We believe. We believe. Walimuambia tuna amini. We believe that you come from God. We believe that you come from God. 
hapo ndipo sasa walianza kuona mambo makubwa after they believed so his disciples said to him see now you are speaking plainly sasa unaongea kwa lugha tunaielewa tunaelewa hii lakini hiyo ya parables atuelewi speaking plainly and using no figure of speech now we are sure that you know all things and have no need that anyone should question you by this we believe that you come forth from god sasa tunaamini ya kwamba umetoka kwa bwana kwa mungu so they believed they believed they would not have walked with him until they believed romans 4:3 Biblia inanena kuhusu Abrahamu miaka mingi Abrahamu pale mwanzo inaturejesha pale mwanzo kwa Abrahamu Genesis around Genesis 10 pale inaturudisha pale kwa mwito wa Abrahamu wakati Abrahamu aliitwa na Bwana maandiko yanasema alipoitwa aliamini Bwana alimwamini Bwana na maandiko yanasema it was credited to him as righteousness ikahes akahesabika kuwa mwenye haki nani Abrahamu kwa kufanya nini kwa kuamini kwake alihesabiwa mwenye haki ana haki ya kupokea ana haki ya kubarikiwa kutokana nini na kuamini kwake kwa hivyo tunapoamini when we believe tunafanyika haki bwana sifiwe we become righteous maandiko yanasema kwamba righteousness exalts a nation Righteousness exalts a nation. Isaia akasema nini? Isaia 9:3 Tell the righteous it shall be well with them. Tell the righteous it shall be well with them. Waambie wenye haki ya kwamba itakuwa wema fema na wao kwa maana watayara matuda ya kazi za mikono ama kakazi zao. So when he believed he was counted to be righteous Romans 4 for what does the scripture say Abraham believed God tunaangalia this step believing believing in God Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness alisehesabiwa kuwa haki nani Abrahamu ana haki ya kutendewa kwa maana aliweza kuamini Mungu kwa hivyo tunapoamini Mungu tunahesabika haki. Bwana asifiwe. Tuna haki ya kumiliki baraka. Tuna haki ya kuponywa. Tuna haki ya kupokea. Tuna haki ya kuinuliwa kwa maana tunaamini. So tusipoamini hatutahesabiwa kuwa haki. We do not deserve to receive. So when we believe tunaingia katika a stage of being accounted to be righteous tunahesabiwa kati ya watakao bariki, uh, barikiwa namba 3 hatua ya tatu. tunaangalia hatatu hatua saimani tuliona ya kwanza ya kwanza ya, ya kwanza god is specific god is specific akikwambia toka anamaanisha utoke akikwambia toa anamaanisha utoe Akisema rara anamaanisha ufanye nini? Urare. Urare. Nilienda boarding nikiwa mdogo na tulikuwa na saa 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 ine tunaenda kulala. Kwa maana tulikuwa boarding saa ine. Mwalimu wetu alikuwa anakuja anaangalia kama umefunika kichwa. Alikuwa naamini kama hujafunika kichwa hujalala. So alikuwa anakugoga kofi na umelala already. Sasa badala urare unaamuka. So specification ilikuwa ukiyakia kwa kitada ufanya nini ufunike kichwa Hiyo <laughs> ndio kulala So God is specific number 2 tumeona kwamba believing we must believe if our faith is going to work if we are going to receive miracles if our prayers are going to be answered we must believe we must believe number 2 number 3 trust you must trust faith is about trusting you can't have faith if you don't trust the person that you you are praying or the person that you want to aweza kukufanyia jambo if you don't trust somebody if you don't trust somebody 
hata mtu wa halisi hata rafiki hata hata mume ama mke hata mtoto if mtoto haku if your child does not trust you hawezi akakwambia shida yake hawezi akakwambia shida yake so faith is about trusting trusting in who trusting in god putting our trust in him it is a stage so if you don't trust na uko na shida ya trust kuna watu wako na shida za ku trust wengine wako na shida sana to an extent that they have a problem in trusting god they don't trust people hata akikutuma mkata ni lazima ahesabu si rais ukileta na sijui ni nani alimwambia ni lazima siwe 24 ana hesabu na ukusa ulikula unachuna mtoto kwa maana you don't trust hakukula tulipokuwa wadogo tulikuwa natumwa sukari unaenda una, una hapa kona kona unauma kidogo sasa msasi alikuwa anajua kwa maana anaona tumate pale hatuku hatukuwa na hekima ya kwamba usitumie mdomo kunyonya Wacha upasue ukure imwagike kwa wa mkono and then uoje. So tulikuwa naweka to an extent ya kwamba hata usipokula the trust ilipotea. Unaambiwa ulifugua hapa juu? Hapana. Mpaka unasema dio na hukufugua. Sababu ni lazima utadikwe, utadikwe. Sasa trust ikapotea kabisa. So nilikuwa nataka kusema kwamba we have people who have a problem trusting others. Bwana sifiwe. Ya kwamba nikikutuma mpaka dukani ni lazima nikwambie unihesabie, unihesabie sile pesa umetumia na change iko wapi? Bwana sifiwe. Uko na hiyo shida. Atikutuma mtoto ni lazima uhesabu. Imagine nikituma faith sasa ninamwambia nifanyie hesabu. Ya hiyo elfu moja nimekupatia. Sijui nini, sijui nini. Hata wewe akanunua hani kachifu yake akitaka. Ni lazima ni I want to know what you bought. Shiriki 10 miliada wapi inaleta shida? Abia jirani hata achana na shida ya trust. Mbona asifiwe? Trust people. Trust people. Hallelujah. I think I don't have a problem with mimi ya ku trust. Hata nikupatie pesa nikwambie niadikie hapa. Hapa uniadikie. Labda mimi niabiwe na pesa market niadike. Lakini siwezi nikamwambia adike. Lakini we have people who are good in that. Ukienda dukani kuja na karatasi. Siku moja nilitumwa na na shule. Kanituma niende kilicho kutoka Nyahuduru. Wakanipatia fare, ni kijana alikuwa mtukutu nimpeleke kwao. So nikampeleka. Niliporudi nikaambiwa na msichana wa mwenye kasi. Nionyeshe receipt. Sire ulitumia. Nikamwambia sasa na kuingine nilienda hoteli ile ya kawaida haina karatasi nilienda kwa gari zingine hasina resiti hata sikuitisha resiti ni kutolewa wapi akaniambia ni lazima ulete ah nikamwambia mimi siyesi ku, siedi kufanya forgery ya resiti nikienda nyahuru nitaadikiwa nitanunua resiti na nikuadikia nikudaganye lakini mimi sikupewa resiti trust me kwani ni pesa gapi ulinipea elfu bidi ndio inaleta shida si ukate kwa mshahara bwana <laughs> sifiwe Eh trust I'm talking about trust people who may fail to trust others to an extent that they do not trust God And if you don't trust you lack trust you will never receive because you do not have faith So trust upande wa pili wa trust ni doubt people who do not have trust they doubt people who tr- who do not trust you they doubt you bwana sifiwe they don't trust you wakati tunasafiri sana sana tukiwa na pastor magret na tuenda labda geshagi siku 2 3 huwa tunaachia our neighbor fungua sa nyumba tunamwachia wakati mwingine tunampigia tukiwa geshagi wanatuambia tuko hapa tunawach tv kwenu we don't have a problem bwana sifiwe we have trust with them si wa kanisa letu si wa imani yetu but we trust them bwana sifiwe we trust them wewe unaesaachia jirani fuguo unaesaachia jirani yako fuguo jirani ulisa your neighbor unaesaniachia 
sababu you don't trust atakuta sukari sijui utakuta nyanya simeda sababu ni lazima uhesabu nimeacha nyanya tano ukirudi ni lazima urudi pale uhesabu sababu you don't trust that person so bibili nasema in the book of genesis 12 verse 1 to na hatukusoma pale mwanzo vile ile hitajika tutairudia genesis 12 1 to 4 abraham baada abraham kuitwa na bwana he trusted god he trusted him alimwamini huyu ambaye ameniita nitoke kwa watu wetu katika taifa letu nitaondoka because of trust so he took a step of faith because he trusted he trusted whoever told him wakati mwingine Mungu atanitunenea tufanye ajabu lakini ha, we don't trust in him agalia gidioni ni lazima afanyie Mungu mtihani mambo kadhaa kama ni wewe nitaweka gosi nje kama ni wewe bwana asifiwe to test god lakini Mungu kwa maana Mungu naye ni mfumilifu alikubali mtihani wa, wa gidioni Magidioni ni hapa ni wengi. Ni lazima utoe kiatu ije. Ukikuta kumenyesha hakinyanyeshewa uamini ni Mungu. <laughs> Bwana sifiwe. Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country from your father's family and from your family and from your father's house. Agalia God was very specific again. Get out of your country specific ili achukue hatua imani god had to be specific abraham get out of your country get out of your family and from your father's house to a land that i will show you sasa hapa is about trusting it's about trusting the person who has spoken to him na god has spoken to us Mungu ametunenea mara nyingi. Tunanenewa kupitia madhabahu, tuende tufanye, tuende tutende. Lakini kwa kukosa you don't it is not the pastor. Sababu hili neno si langu. Hili neno pia mimi nahitajika niweze kulitimiza. I walk as per the word. I walk in faith. I build my faith as you build yours. Kwa hivyo sote tunahesabiwa tuweze kulitenda, lakini because people do not trust others Inafika wakati mpaka neno hilo linahubiri ama linahubiriwa you don't trust it because he who is preaching you do not trust, trust her or him so you also don't trust the word that is being spoken in so doing what happens you fail to walk in faith you fail to tap the blessings of god tunakosa kutembea katika imani na tunakosa kupokea baraka ambazo Mungu alitukusudia so maandiko yanasema alimwambia nini get out of your country from your family from your father's house to a land that i will show you Mungu akisema toa busi amemaanisha busi si pesa amesema ni busi akikwambia fuga siku saba no negotiation hapa si ukuja kwa pesa uniulize pesa ninaweza ada statu si ni sawa hata moja hapana kama alikwambia saba ni saba ukiambiwa mwezi ni mwezi siku moja nilienda prayer center ikawa kuna mtu alikuja pale Mungu alikuwa amemwambia aende 40 alikuwa ada punishment ya Mungu akaenda akamwambia go for 40 days fasting kaenda silipofika dhate kasikia hapana nitakufa kasema hata Mungu amenisikia sasa akaenda nyumbani alipoenda Mungu akamnenea akamwambia nilikwambia fote so hizo sime hizo siku hesabu go another fote so nilimkuta akiwa round ya pili sasa akijaribu kutimiza sile fote because god is specific Mungu akisema the first born anamaanisha the first born. Mungu akisema tithe anamaanisha tithe. Akisema ombeni na mfunge anamaanisha muombe na tufunge. Akisema tuombe bila kukoma anamaanisha tuombe bila kukoma. 
He is specific. Pray without ceasing. Specific. How do you pray? Murisa Jirani, how do you pray? Murisa, do you believe in prayers? Murisa Atatu, do you trust he who has demanded that we pray? Now Murisa Nakisugu, do you believe he who has demanded that we pray? Jeremiah Kumina Saba Musadi Wasaba, Bibidi Nasema, blessed is the man who trusts in God. Blessed is the man who trusts in God. So what does it mean? If you don't trust in God, you remain outside the blessings. Unakosa baraka. So watu wengi wamekosa kubalikiwa ni wale ambao hawamtumaini Bwana. Kuna kitu kingine wanatumainia. Wengine wanatumainia farasi, wanatumainia mikono yao, wanatumainia fedha zao. Wanatumainia watu wao. Blessed is a man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. Na ambaye tumaini rake li katika buwana. Sabuli miyamoja ishiri na tano musali wa kwanza na wapili. Sabuli miyamoja ishiri na tano. Bibiria inaogea kuhusu those who trust in God. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. Agalia, watu ambao wamejua kutrust God. They are, they are not shaken. They are unshakable. Bwana sifiwe. Lakini watu ambao hawa mtumaini bwana. They get shaken by things. Kitu kidogo kikifanyika, they get shaken. Wanaona kufa, wanaona kuisha. Kwa mana they don't trust in God. Trust is the third stage of maturing in our faith. Number four, conviction. Conviction ni himiso, kuhimisika. Kuhimisika. Conviction ni kitu ambacho, it's a con conviction ni nini? It's a declaration. Something that you feel, I'm convicted in me. Nina himisika. Maniko nasema in the book of Hebrews 11, verse 1. Faith, faith is a substance of the things that we hope. Imani ni kuwa na uhakika wa mambo tuyatarajiayo. Bwana sifiwe. Ni kuwa na uhakika. It's a strong conviction. So faith is a strong conviction. If you don't have a strong conviction, conviction in himizo, Wale watu ambao hawa himisiki dani yao, ya kwamba inawezekana, haitawezekana. Ni razma pawe na himizo. Angalia batimayo, alihimizika dani yake. Watu walipo jaribu kumus, kumunyamazisha, kulikuwa na himizo dani yake. Do it. Shout. Muite. Hata alipo ambiwa nyamasa, aliedelea kuita kwa mana, dani yake alihimizika. He had a strong conviction. This is my day. Angalia mwanamke aliyo tokwa na damu. Maaniko nasema kwamba kulikuwa na umati mkubwa sana. Na yesu alikuwa amesingirwa sana. Lakini alikuwa na himizo dani yake. Alihimisika. Hakuna mtu aliyo mshawishi. Lakini alihimisika ya kwamba nikigusa pinde la fasi dake. Nitapona. Ena haka, haka hakikisha kwamba. Amesonga. Amesonga katikati ya umati. Amepenyesa katikati pale. Mpaka kagusa pimdo lafasi dake. Yesu wakaudisa ni nani ya menigusa. Kulikuwa na watu wengi. Mpaka wanafunzi wakamuambia umati ni mkubwa. Yule mama kwa kushtuka kasema ni yeye. Lakini alikuwa tayari yamepona. Kwa mana alipo gusa pinde. Yesu alihisi ya kwamba guvu sake simgine simemuodoka. Something has happened. Kwa mana somebody had a strong conviction that this is my day. Do you come to church with a conviction? Unapoenda kuomba, do you have a conviction that what I'm praying for, I am 100% sure it will be done. Wana sifiwe, niko na uhakika, mia kwa mia, ya kuomba itatedeka. Watu wengi hawana, hawana hero himizo, hawa himiziki ya kuomba itatedeka. 
angalia watu ambao walibeba mtu wao maandiko nasema hekalu ilikuwa imejaa hakukuwa na nafasi ya kuingia lakini hao watu wakahimizika today this man must get healed aklipo waliingia juu ya mabati wakangoa mabati kwa nini walingoa walikuwa na himizo mbona asifiwe walihimizika kwamba this man will be healed today na kwa maana hakuna jia tutatengeneza jia kwa hivyo watu ambao wana himizo they have a conviction even if there is no way they make a way mbona asifiwe wanajitengenezea jia ya kupokea hata kama hakuna jia Udise jirani umewahi kujitengenezea jia ama unagoja tu jia ambazo zimetengenezwa upitie jitengenezea jia yako huyu mama alijitengenezea jia yake ya kugusa nini upide batimayo hakuwa amesikia ujumbe wa mtu alishout labda tu alikuwa amesikia watu wakishout mambo ya Jericho diposa kuta sianguke lakini akawa na himizo ndani yako if i shout he will pay attention angalia sakayo sakayo hakuwa amesoma juu ya mtu mwingine amepada juu ya mti lakini he had a conviction nikipada juu ya mti nitamuona na kulikuwa na watu wengi wafupi lakini akawa na nini a conviction yesu hakuingia kwa mwingine alitamani huyu msia anapada juu ya mti anione i need to go to his house make a way bwana asifiwe make a way abia jirani make a way yeah make a way because god wants to perform a miracle for you today you must make a way hallelujah so in the book of second kings 4 wafalme wa pili 4 mstari wa 8 mpaka mstari wa 10 biblia inasema inaogea kuhusu the shunamite woman yule mwanamke mshumeni maandiko yanasema kwamba alikuwa tajiri alikuwa na kasi ya kutajika na maandiko yanasema kwamba alikuwa na shida but she had a conviction alikuwa na shida but she had a conviction in her ya kwamba alipona mtumishi wa Bwana akipita ndani yake akahimizika na huyu ni mtumishi wa Bwana huyu ni mtumishi wa Bwana anahitaji kuingia kwangu wakati wote anapokuja mjini mwetu diposa nimpatie chakula akaada saidi ya hapo akamwambia mumewe nimeshawishika ya kwamba huyu mtu ni mwenye haki inatupasa tuweze kumtengenezea nyumba tuweke kitanda tuweke mesa na tuweke taa na tuweke kiti cha kukalia ili anapokuja anapata mafasi she had a conviction that conviction ilifanya shida yake iweze kutatuliwa she was barren but she had a conviction alikuwa na himizo ndani yake hilo himizo likamfanya achukue hatua ya imani akampikia mtumishi wa Bwana akamjengea mtumishi wa Bwana baada ya kumjengea na kumweka pale ndio mujisa ulitedeka abia abia jirani mujisa mwingine ni ujegee pasta nyuba eh uninjegee nyuba kanisa Mujisa mwingine mtapokea ni kunjegea nyumba. Simuseme amen hapo. Eh. Hey. Na mseme ni lini mnajenga. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu alijenga nyumba. Bwana asifiwe. Akamwekea furnitures katika ile nyumba. Agalia she was not complaining. Hakuita watu wa kijiji chao wachangane waweze kubeba ule msigo. Shida ni ya kwamba wale watu wako na conviction they seek for Wanasik for nini? Maoni ya watu, mnaonaje? Unasikia kama ni Mungu alinenenea? Hiyo kutafuta maoni ndio kunafanya usibarikiwe. Mungu akikwambia ni hii ni hii. Akikwambia fanya achana na maoni ya wanadamu, kwa maana tutakupinga, kwa maana sio sisi tulinenewa. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. You have a strong conviction. Kuna mtu alinitumia elfu moja, Mungu akubariki na akupatie hiyo gari. Kaniambia pasta imehimisika, nina, ninapata gari. Na alipokea katika jina la Yesu. Bwana asifiwe, si alipokea. Si yule mtu ako na conviction aka mpaka akaota badala ya yaamini tu akaona anitumia ka elfu moja. Na nilikula asante. 
na wewe upokee hiyo gari katika jina la Yesu. Aache kutembea na miguu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. There is a person who has a conviction that the dream that I had is true. The dream that I had is from God. Bwana asifiwe. So John 4:19. Huyu ni yule mama ambaye alikuwa msamaria. Wamekutana na Yesu kisimani cha Yakobo. Wanafunzi wameenda kutafuta chakula, Yesu amebaki kwa pale kisimani. Kisimani cha Yakobo. Alipokuwa ameketi pale mwanamke msamaria akaja. Alipokuja wakawa wamesemesana, sana, Yesu hatimaye akamwambia nenda umuite mume wako. Yule mama akasema mimi sina, sina. Yesu akamwambia na umesema ukweli kwa maana umekuwa na wasea watano na sasa hata yule uko naye si wako. Hey, yule mama akashtuka. Mustari wa 19 unasema I perceive that you are a prophet. So I have a strong conviction juu ya ndani yako ya kwamba wewe sio mtu wa kawaida wewe ni nabii. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Na hivyo divyo mambo yake yalivyofanikiwa. Kwa nini she had a strong conviction? Najua kuna mtoto unayesaangalia hata mtoto wako na uwe na conviction huyu mtoto will be great. Strong conviction. Niliwaambia nikiwa mdogo sijui babaangu ni nini aliona ndani yako. Akaniambia siku moja sasa kwetu hakukuwa na gari ni tractor silikuwa naenda Nyahururu. Na hizo tractor zinaenda saa tisa usiku ndio ifike Nyahururu. Inaenda ikichukua masiwa. So hiyo ndio ilikuwa matatu. So babaangu akaniambia uniite saa tisa usiku. Na sina saa mimi ni katoko, katoto kadogo. I think I was in class two pale. Akaniambia uniite saa tisa. Sijui kwa nini akaniambia hivyo. Sijui ni kwa nini aliona ni nini kudani yako. Nilipomuita ilikuwa imebaki dakika moja. Sijui ilikuwa imepita ama imebaki dakika moja. Nikamuita nikamwambia amka. Yeye yeah, dude alikuwa na saa katika nyumba yetu. Alipoangalia akakuta sijui dakika moja imepita ama imesalia dakika moja. He had a conviction. Bwana asifiwe. He had a conviction ya kwamba kuna kitu ndani yako. Bwana asifiwe. Geukia mwenzako mwambie I have a conviction. Ya kwamba wewe si mtu wa kawaida. Mwambie there is greatness in you. Mwambie utaenda bali. I'm convinced beyond doubt that there is a seed of greatness in you. Bwana asifiwe. Na ndio unajikufishaga moyo. Ambia mwenzako usikufe moyo tena, usikufe moyo tena. You are a great. Wacha nikwambie hakuna mtu great hakufa moyo maishani. Raija alikufa moyo akatamani kufa. A great man. Jesus on the cross alidia akasema eroi eroi. Babagu babagu kwa nini umenitega? Why have you left me alone? Great men they were once rejected. Great men or great people, wacha nitumie great people. At one time they were rejected. David was rejected by his people. Joseph was rejected by his own brothers. Jephtha was rejected by his brothers, by his countrymen, but there was a seed of greatness in him. Bwana asifiwe. Tuigie hatua ya ya mwisho. Ya mwisho. Then faith must be tested. Number five, faith must be tested. This is a stage where faith has to be tested. Faith has to be tested. Genesis 12, yadika hiyo tumeisoma, hatutasoma tena. Nimesema, the testing is specific. Mutihani ni specific. Omba siku saba, God is specific. Ukihimizwa siku saba amemaanisha siku saba kuna neema ya siku saba. Bwana asifiwe. Mungu akikupa akikwambia toa vitu vyako, toa. Bwana asifiwe. Kile nilikuwa nahubiri kanisa ambalo nilienda kuna pati inaitwa application what you teach you must apply it has to be applied. Nikaambia watu tutoe. Niliona mama ametoa fiatu, fiatu mpya. Ndio faith alikuwa ananiambia alituambia tulipotoka. Niliangalia hiyo kiatu nikaona mpaka ndani ni kipya. 
a blood issue, a white shoe. Yule mama alitoa na alikuwa amefaa vizuri sana. Niliona akichechemea akitoka sababu anafinywa chini, lakini specific toa kiatu. I wish mnaweza toa kiatu leo. <laughs> Paka wase na socks. Tugoge ka mguu. Tuende tukiweka hamak kwa barabara. Hallelujah. Sio bi mwenzako I wish you can toa saa kwa mguu. Eh tuweka mark sile tulikuwa naweka kitabo. Tulikuwa naweka kitabo Max. Tukitembea unajulikana ulitembea pale kama kaini. Sababu mguu inaonekana ni ya fulani. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. So Genesis 12 umeandika hiyo moja. Test nimesema test. The test of faith nimesema it is the test of your possession. Ni kile ulichonacho. We are tested by what we have. You have time, God will test you by time. You have good health, he will test you with your health. Bwana asifiwe. When you are strong, what did you do? Ulifanya nini ulipokuwa na afya jema? Ndio wakati we ni mgonjwa uponywe. Ni lazima ujiulize hilo swali. Nilipokuwa na gufu nilifanya nini? Nikula madasi tu. Tunajenga hapa Watu wanapagusa fio huwezi ukaja kupagusa kio ya kwamba ukiwa mgonjwa ukubushe bwana kubuka kio inawezekana isipanguswe wiki hii Bwana sifiwe Kuna mama amechukua kasi specific ya kuocha ya kuosha cho Sababu labda alisikia pasta alipitia pale ya kuosha So anakuja Saturday anaosha sile show. Sinaoshwa na mama. Amechukua kasi specific. Nilimuuliza ulichukuaje? Akaniambia nilisikia tu nifanye hiyo. Nikamwambia ni nsudi hiyo. Watu wakubwa wanapitiaga hiyo. <laughs> Bwana sifiwe. Greatness does not start at the altar. It starts with what you do. If you start here, you might go back there. Wale mko hapa kama ulianza hapa hukutaka kuanza kule inawezekana ukarudi kule siku moja desire to start from there you come here bwana asifiwe don't fight to start here you might go back inawezekana wakati uko hapa ndio Mungu anakuambia na, na uende kwa show uache siko clean na uko hapa na ningependa Mungu aanze hiyo aseme hiyo kwa watu bwana asifiwe wale ambao hawakulipa gharama ya kule mnataka kuingia hapa Mungu waambie uwe ukiokota makaratasi specific ama ukitupagusa matope wakati tuna matope kila mtu akiingia unapagusa matope najua kuna mtu hiyo kazi ni yake hapa tukikuja unatupagusa pale sote washirika wote unapagusa viatu tunaingia tukiwa kilini sasa ulikataa kazi yako diposa uko chini ninakuonyesha sile kazi ambazo hasina watu Bwana sifiwe, kasi gine haina mtu ni ya kusalimia watu ukiwaambia karibu. Karibu you are smart. Sasa nani alikuambia uko smart hapa kanisani? Ni walikuambia asha. Walikuonyesha sura ya kasi, si ndio? Tunahitaji mtu wa kutusalimia. Wakituonyesha sura ya kasi, mwingine anatusalimia. Good. Thank you for coming. You are smart. Sasa hata tukiiba utaiba vizuri. Ukijua uko uko smart. Hana Anna the mother of Samuel she was specific she was specific if you bless me and bless me with a son she was specific nitamtoa sitatoa ngombe nitamtoa na she was specific and she did exactly what she had said in the book of judges 11 29 to 36 Inaongea kuhusu mtu anaitwa Jephthah. Jephthah alikuwa shujaa. Shujaa alienda fitani akashinda fita. Na akafanya akafanya nadhiri kwa Bwana. Akamwambia chochote kile ambacho ni chagu kinaitanishwa nami. Nikienda fitani unipatie ushindi, chochote kile kitakacho ni laki cha kwanza nitakitoa kuwa dhabihu. Ah kaenda fitani akashinda, alipokuwa anakuja ni shangwe watu wanashangilia lakini alikuwa amesema nini changu chochote kinachoitanishwa nami kitakano kitakacho ni laki cha kwanza iwe ni ngombe nitaitoa 
Iwe ni busi nitaitoa. Bora ni yago. So anashangiliwa na watu. Watu wanaimba jimbo. Watu wanasema kwamba tumepokea ushidi. Cha kwanza kumpokea ni bintie. The only one. Hakuwa na mwingine. Hakuwa na mwingine. The only one. Alikuwa nae. Binti yake. Dio wa kwanza alipo sikia shangwe. Akatoka kumraki babake. Akifurahia babake. Babake akamulisa. Woi. Umenifanya nini. Musiana naya kajua. Ni nini ambayo. Akamuambia babake usijari. Nathiri ulio itoa kwa buwana. Itimise. Buwana sifiwe. He was specific. What will come first? Buwana sifiwe. Si usikuwa leo uwe umuabie mugu. Whatever I will dream with. Nitaitoa. Wegine wata, wata, wata dream na gali. Udoeta gali. Wegine wata dream na, na prot. Leta hiyo proti. Lakini hatutaki itu. We don't want God to be specific. Wewe Mungu goja nitoe kida ninataka, wacha nifanye kida ninasikia, lakini sio kida wewe unataka. Wacha niombe hela masaa ninataka, dakika ninasotaka, sio dakika sile ama masaa utanipatia, lakini wacha ni nitoe masaa yangu, dakika sagu. Wacha nifuge siku sagu, sio siku sile unataka, lakini mimi nifuge sile niko comfortable naso. Ni watu wangapi wamefunga kuligana na mapensi ya Bwana? How many went to prayers with a specification from God? Go and pray for five days. Lakini ni sisi tunajipangia, tunagalia prayer item sisetu. Tunaona hisi ni sasiku moja, siku ya pili, siku ya tatu. Kuna kanusu kamebaki, unakaweka hapa. Diyo wede tatu. Lakini ugeoba mungu agakwambia ten days. Tunasema tumefunga mwaka huu. Lakini tumefuga setu, sisa mungu. Let us pray, let us fast as per the specifications. Bwana sefiwe, let us do as per the specification. Mwigini alieda katoa guo. Mungu alikuwa nataka ubaki na bidi. Bidi tu. Ulieda ukatoa kamoja. Siku hizi ya kuna mtu anaisa ongea, ulitoa guo moja. Lakini mungu alikuwa nataka yote utoe, ubaki na bidi. Tulisi moja ikuwa kwa mwili yogine umefua. Ubaki hivyo. That is what faith is. Lakini tunatoa kuligana na mimi. Okay. Conveniences sangu. Finally. Number six. Focus. Faith is about having focus. So tumeona faith. Your faith must be tested. It's a stage of testing. You are tested by your money. God tests you with your health. He tests you with your time. He tests you with what he has given you to see whether you are generous, you are kind to people, whether you are good, whether you can give to the church. Ama ukibalikiwa, unaenda mobasa kuswimu. Buona sifiwe. Ukipokea priority ni gani is god first or god is last nikikula kile kitambaki nitapeleka kanisani kwa hivyo mabaki ni ya kanisa mabaki ni ya mungu the best is mine nikikula nyama mifupa nipeleke kanisani so focus faith is about having focus if you don't have focus you can't have and you can't walk in faith you cannot tap from faith if you don't have focus. Focus ni kurenga, kitu frani. In the book of 1 Corinthians 9, 23 to 27, wakorindho wakwansa tisa, murango, sorry, mustari wa 23, hadi 27, wakorindho wakwansa tisa, mustari wa 23. Now this is, now this I do for the gospel's sake. That I may not partake of it without you, with you. Do you not know that those who run in a race, all run. Kwa hivyo watu hukibia. Kuna wanakibia pasipo na lengo. Lakini kuna wanaokibia wakiwa na lengo. Kuna watu wanakuja kanisani hawana lengo. Lakini kuna mwingine anaenda kanisani ya kiwa na lengo. Bwana sifiwe. Specifically, why am I going to church? One, to pray. Number two, to pray. To worship. Number three, to honor God with my substance. 
Number four, to tell God thank you for what he has done. Those are people who go to the church wakiwa na focus. They are focused where they are coming. Lakini mwingine ni Sunday. Ni Sunday. Do you know do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the prize So as you run the race don't run for the sake of it run focusing on the prize Bwana sifiwe unapotoa toa ukiwa lengo lako ni nini inatokana na kutoa Ninatoa diposa nibarikiwe Kwa hivyo nitatoa ni mfraishe bwana anibariki nataka kuomba lengo la kuomba ni lipi omba ukiwa una lengo bwana asifiwe funga ukiwa una lengo bwana asifiwe haleluya whatever we do let us do with a specific reason with a focus ninafanya hivi ni mfraishe mungu ninafanya hivi Mungu aweze kufurahishwa na kasi ya mikono yangu. So in the book of 2 Timothy 4:7 to 8, Paul anasema nini? I have fought a good fight. 2 Timothy 4 2 Timothy 4 7 to 8. Anasema nini? I have fought a good fight. Lakini agalia this man was focused, not only fighting. Hasemi tu nimemaliza mwendo. Hasemi tu nimepigana vita, lakini anasema nini? I have held the faith. Nimeshikilia imani. So he was focused hata kama kuna vita my focus is on my faith. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Vita cha muhimu hapa sio vita. Cha muhimu hapa sio bio. Cha muhimu hapa ni imani. Kwa hivyo anasema kwamba richa kwamba nilifanya yale nilifanya. Richa kwamba unafanya biashara zako. Richa kwamba unaenda kasini kila siku. Ni lazima uhakikishe kwamba umeshikilia imani. Bwana sifiwe. You have to hold your faith. Hata kama unafanya kasi wapi, unafanya biashara ipi, lakini cha maana sana shikilia imani yako. Hold on to your faith. Philippians 3 ndio mwisho na tatu some 12 to 14 Paul anasema kwamba sijafika 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 watu wengi wanakaa kama wamefika imani ni kujua kwamba hatujafika 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 watu ambao walifika kasi yao ni kuhukumu wengine sababu walifika biguni walifika. Kwa hivyo kasi yao ni kuangalia makasoro ya watu wengine. Kwa maana walifika. Paul anasema nini? Not that I have already attained. Sijashika kile ambacho ninakusudia. So faith is a continuous is continuous. It's a process. Ni kitu ambacho ni hatua kwa hatua. Na ni lazima ulenge. Imani ni kulega pale. Niliwaambia wale tulikuwa nao siku sile. Babagu alikuwa ameajiri mtu wa kuendesha traktor. Siku moja akakuja na bangi na sijui nimemaliza form 4. Akaniuliza yeye unajua ni nini? Kalikuwa kamumea, nikamwambia sijui. Akaniambia hii ni bangi. Nilikuwa ninasikia watu wakisema sijui umbo ikipewa bangi na kuaga kali. Akaniuliza tufanya nini? Nikamwambia tumpatie mbwa. Tupatie mbwa. Kaniambia utafanya nini? Nikamwambia nitachemsha niweke kwa uji. Nilikuwa nasikia ma story tu sijui hata kama inaweza waka. So akaniambia enda ufanya hivyo. Mbwa zetu zilikuwa napikiwa uji. Sikapikiwa jioni nikakoroga moja, nione kama italiact. Nikakorogea moja kwa bakuli yake. Hiyo mbwa ilisimama usiku msima. Ilipokunywa kadhaa nafikiri akili sasa ikaanza kusuguka, ikaangalia mahali. Focus. Nikaamka saa sita niangalie mbwa ile. Nikakuta pahali diagalia ndio imeangalia. Nikaamka saa sigine sijini saa tisa ama ni kumi. Nikakuta mbwa imesimama tu. Sasa nikajua babagu akiamka. Hii mbwa hata sijafungua. Wacha nifungulie. Nikaifungua. Busi silipofunguliwa 
ilienda na kiero moja kiero ni mguu hii ilipasua busi ikaenda na hii ikabeba kama nyani ikaenda ikashika ya pili ikapasua tubo ikaenda na matubo imerukwa na akili babangu akasema hii mbwa imerukwa na akili mimi ndio ninajua ni nini <laughs> lakini mbwa ilikuwa focused nikiondolewa hapa nitakuda nyama ilikuwa nasikia nyama tu focus yake you must have a focus what is the focus of our coming to the church what is our focus over this year let us tulenge pale na tutabarikiwa tusimame kwa miguu yetu mwambie mwenzako walk those stages and you will receive in Jesus name mwambie na utapokea katika jina la Yesu Kristo tusimame tu kwa miguu yetu msalimie jirani yako msalimie jirani msalimie jirani mwambie hatua ya kwanza ilikuwa gani mwambie hatua ya kwanza ilikuwa god is specific mwambie faith is specific mwambie kitu cha pili you must believe mwambie tatu sasa sitakwambia mwambie tatu ati umesema nini trust in god number four. You must have conviction number 5. Umesema nini? Good faith must be tested. Ya mwisho namba 6.